welcome back to another installment of On the Couch. And this time we are here with a disgruntled Mumbai Indian fan, Nick from CFA Nation. Looks like we have a standing weekly appointment. Um, after a tough loss, several frantic emails and voicemails. Uh, Nick, talk to us. What's going on? You know, first and foremost, uh, we've already heard from Jody, so we're we're okay. we know she's okay. That's a good thing. We got those open lines of communication going on. So as long as she you know continues to contact us, um, let us know she's okay. Everything is fine. But uh, let's start off with uh, not sure exactly sure what happened and what do you what would you expect? But let's uh, let's get started here. So let's dive into this. I, I appreciate it, Dr. Blasphemer. I really do. This is untapped territory for us Mumbai fans. We're used to being top dog. We're used to having bad teams and still winning it. We're used to having the lowest score to have the other team chase and still defend in the finals. This team just wins. They win, they win, they win. But this money issue that Ambani has, I'm not sure if he owes, owes the Sharks big or what's going on. It's really detrimental to the team. Nick, 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 and, Nick before, before you start there. Allegedly, we've got to make sure we say allegedly because this thing will be broadcast. We're not. Are you sure. not watching what's on the field, Doc? Come on. You got. You may have a point there. You may have a point there. Go on, continue. I'm sorry to interrupt. So I'm thinking to myself, this is not going to get better before it gets worse. It's going to get bad, right? I mean, who's this Basil Thampy for crying out loud? He got one over. Okay, kid. Here's your chance to get one over. 26 runs in one over? I don't even think that was mathematically possible for crying out loud to give 26 runs. And he's like, oh, Nick, I got you. Don't worry. I'll show you it's mathematically possible. Come on. 26 you can't even... runs. Nick, Nick, Nick. First and foremost, and Giddy says, take your 26 and hold my 36. Did you forget? Or Stuart Broad, 36, you know, when he got Vigerod, you know, uh, but I've seen, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, it I'm sorry. I didn't know they were playing against UV out there for crying out loud. Are you kidding me right now? Basil Thampy. I better never see him again. This guy's atrocious. But before I get worked up, because I'm trying, I'm trying to do the prayers. I'm trying to do the soothes, right? The, the breathing exercise we talked about. Yes. The breathing yes. exercise. Good, good. I'm good. trying to smile more even when I'm not happy. But I have something I think is going to work, okay? Since I'm not allowed to get my anger out, I'm, I've called in on a friend. I don't know if I can trust this friend. But desperate times call for desperate measures, okay? So I, I want you to meet my representative, Tony. You ready to meet him? Uh, before be, before we meet anyone else and we bring any to, anyone to our session, we got to make sure that Tony understands the ground rules, and I'm going to have to fax over some paperwork to make sure he signs a non-disclosure form because, uh, you know, it, 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 it's not really appropriate to bring somebody into a session without, you know, doctor-patient confidentiality. Although we've already mentioned here at CFA Nation that Dr. That Dr. Blasphemer is not a certified uh, medical practitioner. Okay, I'm a fantasy, fantasy cricket analyst. Continue, Nick. Go ahead, bring him up. Tony, you ready to come in here? Yes, I've already given you my credit card information. I need you to talk to Dr. Blasphemer. All right, he's What's coming that? in. How are we doing there, Tony? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm 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 a businessman, okay? I'm a businessman and I got a client here. He's heartbroken. And so I'm going I'm going to take care of some situations here in this IPL I hear about. But I'm a businessman. Interesting. Tony, how do you think you're going to be able to, to handle the situations and take care of the situation? I'm all up. Nick needs all the help he can get. But how do you think you're going to help a, a major franchise like the Mumbai Indians and the IPL? I'm, I'm inquiring minds want to know. I'm, I'm very excited for this opportunity, Doc. I really am. Because as of recently, a businessman like myself has not been able to make a living the way I'm used to making it. These laws, these different things are stopping my business from moving forward. 
So oh. I'm tapping into sports. And I'm, I, I don't cause problems, Doc. I don't. I'm a businessman. I fix problems. And I, I see a man like Ambani and the Mumbai Indians. I see what their problem is. The problem What's is that? money. They don't have money right now. Oh. It's, you and, know, again, rumored that he had some financial issues, but we're not quite sure about that. So let's make sure we say allegedly here. But uh, continue, Tony. Th there's no allegedly in there. When the best you can afford is a Daniel Sams and a Basil Thampy, you've got to be kidding me. When you're used to getting what you call the wicket and the umpires, they're doing this, a man of my stature, a businessman, I know what that means. And for some reason, for some reason, and Bonnie's not able to make it happen. I mean, I think even a Boomer is disgruntled. I think there was a conversation from Boomer today that said, listen, if I don't get my money, I'm not giving you three wickets ever again because you got nobody else that can do it. A like Kyron Pollard, I don't think he's getting the establishment he's, be, he's used to be getting in Mumbai there. He's not very happy right now. So hmm. I'm going to have a conversation with the Mr. Ambani and those who run the Mumbai Indians. I'm going to talk to the kid and I'm going to show him what a man of my stature can bring because even though there's no more players left, there's still something to buy. Um, um, I, I understand, Tony. You're not a big fan of the IPL. You're just coming in this year. You know, you're trying to help out a friend, Nick, or a client, as you said, but I don't think you understand the IPL. It's not like other, uh, other sports where you could just go, by, by players. The auction's over. So really, there's, there, there's nobody to buy. Well, what can money do at this point? I, I'm just confused. In 35 years of my experience, I've learned that there's two things that will convince a man to do something they don't want to do. And, and one is money. And the other, I just can't mention on this program at this time. It's a family channel. It's a family channel. I, I, re I respect, as a businessman, I respect that. I respect that. But I'm going to make it an offer you can't refuse, Doc. I'm going to make him that offer. And we're going to do better than a Daniel Sams. Unfortunately, this year, we can't do much better than that. But the men, the men that put up the fingers or don't put up the fingers, there's oh, something we can do wait. about that. Well, Tony, Tony, calm down here. Listen, listen, first and first, first, you need to retract that statement because in the past, match fixing has been a very serious, serious allegation. God, who said the... anything about match fixing? Who is this guy? You said this guy was legitimate. You said he was a therapist. Oh, oh, I just, listen, I'm just trying to say as a, a therapist, I have to make sure it's almost like a doctor. I can't go out and say anything that you say to me, okay? But it's a very simply slope out there. So I'm just saying, right, you know, be careful with that because very, very strict penalties and fines can be levied if you are caught, quote unquote, match fixing. Or Who said anything about match fixing? Who said anything about that? Okay, I'm by the book. I'm what you call a legitimate businessman. I'm just saying, you know, that we can make some accommodations. You know, I got gift cards up the wazoo. I can send them to an Olive Garden. Do they have Olive Garden in India? I don't know. Maybe we'll build one. I'm a legitimate businessman. But what I'm saying is what they have so far is very different than what we've seen in the past. And it's just, it's just not going to work. We've got to improve. Those men are used to putting up that finger when the ball was not anywhere close. And now they're not. So we're going to make a little trip to India. And you better believe that we're going to make some changes. Because my man Nick over here, he's suffering. Now, I'm getting a phone call right now. I've got another situation to fix. So I'm done with you right now. Okay, Nick, I got to tell you. I am very concerned right now. First and foremost, you don't want to go down this path. Have a little bit of faith. Things will be better. Listen. Faith? Again, Nick, all I'm saying is there's other ways. Not like this. Not like this. Okay? Do yeah. you know who the highest score was for the Mumbai Indians today? I, I don't know that, Nick. I apologize. I mean. Varma. His own mother was surprised by that. My son's on the team? Are you kidding me right now? When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And you got to do what you got to do. We can't allow this to happen for Mumbai. Come on, Doc. Nick, I just, I, I just, 
I just feel that as your therapist and, and, and a longtime friend, it's my job, my responsibility to tell you, I believe I recognize Tony. His last name may be Soprano. And he's also been involved with some very, very dangerous allegations. I don't think this is a road we want to go down, Nick. Just, just it, You don't want to try and win this way. Take it easy. I'm sure the Ambani's have a plan. Do something. Start a GoFundMe if you really think the money's a problem. Start a GoFundMe so that next mega auction they can go ahead and purchase some better players. I know it's, you know, maybe there's a mini auction in like two years. I know a mega auction is four years away, but, you know, let's just make sure we try to keep things legit. Because remember, after all, cricket's a gentleman's game and match fixing would never be tolerated. Doc, his business card says legitimate businessman. That's all I need. We're just going to oh, have the conversations. It's on the business card? I apologize, then. You're covered. You're absolutely covered. It says it right on the business card. Notarized and everything. Certified. Even came with a certificate of authenticity. I can't even say the word. He's a legitimate businessman. He's a good guy. And he's going to help out the Mumbai Indians. Because right now, this is ridiculous. We can't stand for this nonsense. 193. Butler got 100 for crying out loud. Rohit Sharma stopped trying. The IPL hasn't started for him yet. He hasn't even started trying. Ishan Kishan's your best scorer, and he has a strike rate rate that mirrors KL Raul. It's just, we got to make some changes, Doc, and I appreciate you. I'm going to do the smiling some more, the soothes, the prayers, the seances, all that kind of stuff. Tori's going to take care of the rest. Well, Nick, I'm not sure how, uh, how to feel about Tony, but I am going to tell you that at least they're showing signs of life. Ishan Kishan... Half century today. Uh, again, Varma, you're right. Didn't even know who he was, but uh, he put up some some runs. And you got Boomer looking like Boomer again. Got himself uh, what three wicket haul, seventeen economy rate. So honestly, you it's it's not more. all darkness. He's not keep doing that, I'm telling you. You know, it's it, it's not all darkness. It's not all bad. And you know, the, it's still only two games in the season. Now, granted, starting off zero and two is never fun. But again, look at the bright side. CSK is also zero and two. That is the bright side. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Their second best bowler right now is Mills, which is honestly helping me stay as calm as I am right now, right? That's their second best bowler. But again, they got him on the cheap. This money problem's got to stop, and we're going to fix it. Once again, allegedly, allegedly, alleged money problems, okay? They're going to revoke my 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 fictitious medical license if I allow you to just levy out those very, very derogatory and inflammatory allegations. We don't know he's having money problems. It's insinuated he's having money problems. Well, that's all I got, Doc. I, I'm not sure what else we have to say. But Tony's taking his trip out tonight. He'll be there tomorrow. And we're, we're going to see some changes. If we don't see changes, I might need two sessions next time, Doc. Well, Nicholas, as usual, you know, Mumbai's got a few games coming up. Try and make sure as you go into them, you, you, you set low expectations. That way you're not disappointed. Remember your breathing exercises. Very important to remember those breathing exercises. Um, continue. What? To... No, I didn't use your last name. I didn't use your last name. No, just Tony. Sorry. So the last name wasn't Soprano. Yeah. I didn't say anything. We Nick, might have to end this session quickly, Doc. We may want to make some better choices. All right, guys. As usual, this has been a very interesting episode of On the Couch. Those Mumbai Indian fans that are concerned... Please don't take the route that Nicholas has taken. And uh, Tony, no last name. It could lead to troubles. With that being said, until next time, embrace the pumping. <laughs> you can't do it with your face. <laughs> I mean, don't stop doing it, but man, the corner of my eye. It's like, ooh. All right, hold on. If there's money issues going on. Are you not watching no what's on the field? <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Oh, man. When the best you can afford is a Daniel Sams. <laughs> Stop. <laughs>
<laughs> You're so stupid. All right. He said the best he could afford is a penny of All right. That was a great line. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do it again. I believe I recognize Tony. His last name may be Soprano. And uh, he's also been involved with some very, very. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think his name's Soprano. Once again, allegedly, allegedly, alleged money problems, okay? The channel is, uh, it, it is not insured for these kind of slanderous allegations, Nicholas. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> He's so, <laughs> He's so dumb. You're the worst, dude. You're the worst. I uh, am. This is why I would never be an actor. Oh, I would ruin every scene. Take 37! <laughs> Absolutely. With that being said, until next time, embrace the pumping. <laughs>